स्टूडेंट एंड ऑल व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड लिंग्विस्टिक अ चैनल फॉर लिटरेचर लवर्स द करंट वीडियो इज द पार्ट वन ऑफ अ सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस अबाउट सेंटेंस एंड दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मोस्ट बेसिक एलिमेंट्स इन सिंटैक्स so what is syntax in linguistic let's define it syntax in general is the scientific study of sentence structure how to arrange word in sentences and what role they play the definition of syntax by ph matthew and his book syntax is given as the term syntax is from the ancient greek syntaxes a verbal noun which literally means arrangement or setting out together traditionally it refers to the branch of grammar dealing with the ways in which words with or without appropriate inflections are arranged to show connections of meaning within the sentence this definition is on the page 1 of the book syntax another definition is given by edward finnegan in his book language its structure and its use on page 145 he says syntax is the part of grammar that governs the form of strings by which language users make statements ask questions give directives and so on the study of syntax addresses the structure of sentence and uh, structural structural and functional relationships to one another constituent is the basic term in syntax what is constituent words that forms a sentence are called its constituent in modern syntax andrio kami define a constituent in these words a constituent is an identifiable sub part of a sentence it can either be a single word or a group of words that functions as a unit most constituents are called phrases the other definition is given by fenigan and bini which is a syntactic unit that functions as part of a larger unit within a sentence typical constituent types are verb phrases noun phrases prepositional phrases and clauses constituents are typical verb phrases such as constituent below the clause level are clauses that have a certain function for example subject direct object etc functions as a single unit within a given structure such as a sentence next we are going to define constituent structure in syntax what is it constituent structure in syntax is the linear and hierarchical organization of the words or constituent of a sentence into 
syntactic units. In this definition, we came across two terms, the linear structure or the linear organization or the linear order and hierarchical organization of constituent or hierarchical organization or hierarchical uh, order of constituent. So let's see what these two terms mean. Linear structure. In linguistic, world order or linear order is the order of the syntactic constituents in a sentence of a language. The most obvious principle of sentence organization is linear order. The word in a sentence must occur in a particular sentence if the sentence is to convey the desired meaning. Consider for example the following sentence of English language. Number one, John glanced at Mary. And this order of constituent in this sentence is acceptable by the native speaker and it is meaningful. Now look at the rearrange of the same words in sentence two. Mary John at uh, Mary John at last. Now we get a meaningless sentence because it is not acceptable by the native speaker. And look at the arrangement of the same words in sentence three. For example, Mary glanced at John. This is acceptable by the native speaker and it is a meaningful sentence. But it has quite different meaning from sentence one. The other type is hierarchical structure. What is hierarchical structure? Hierarchy is a Greek word and it means rule of the highest priest. But in grammar, it refers to any ordering of units or levels on a scale of size, abstraction or subordination. It can be also defined as an association between lexical units that have a system of arrangement into levels of increasing size or complexity. The adjective of hierarchy is hierarchical, which is also known as syntactic hierarchy or morphosyntactic hierarchy. The hierarchy of constituent in ascending order is usually identified as follows. Morpheme, word, phrase, clause, sentence, and text. The smallest constituent in a hierarchical structure is morpheme and the largest stru structure or the largest is the text. Hierarchical structure can be represented by a tree diagram as given in this figure, where S represent a grammatical sentence and A and B are its constituent. Since S has been distributed immediately into two constituent A and B and that is why A and B are called the immediate constituent of S. And A is further distributed among A1, A2 and A3. These are also known as constituent of A and B has this B1, B2, B3 and before constituent in the same way. And this tree diagram can go on if any of these constituent has more morphine or 
more syntactical categories consider the sentence the student reads a book in the library so look at the step by step division of this sentence at first we have split it into the two constituent the student and reads a book in the library and the student is further divided into the and student a determiner and a noun whereas reads a book is divided into reads which is a verb and a book in the library which is a press and the same press is divided into for two other presses a book a noun press in the library a prepositional press the press a book is further divided into a determiner a and a noun book and the press in the library is divided into the preposition in and the library and the library which is a noun press is further divided into a determiner the and a noun library such distribution of a sentence represented by a tree is also called parsing of a sentence next terms in syntax are rule and constraint so what are rule and constraint a rule is a statement pressed in positive form that describes possible structures structures that are claimed to be acceptable to a native speaker and a constraint is a formal statement of structure that are impossible or the structure that are claimed to be unacceptable to the native speaker as as an example you can consult the previous section of this video linear order uh, the next term we are going to define here is corpora what is a corpora a collection of written or spoken materials representing the real world usage of a language is called a corpus and the plural of corpus is corpora dear student and all viewers see you with another video about syntax thank you for watching stay blessed